it absolutely is the right decision and I've been glued to the coverage all weekend. It has been a brilliant, brilliant term of events. Um, uh, Stacey, this goes deeper than just a one judicial appointment or even one set of allegations. This has been become about uh, the mob rule versus the rule of law. Now, as, as compelling as the testimony of Dr Ford or Professor Ford was, uh, the fact remains that beyond that there has been no corroborating evidence against Judge Kavanagh uh, and people are very, very worried about uh, the fact that this looks like the, uh, what the Me Too movement was always in danger of, of mutating towards. Uh, for every genuine scumbag like a Harvey Weinstein, there was always a risk that 10 innocent men, and it is almost always men, uh, would be tarred and feathered and, and railroaded uh, by... There's no evidence uh, for that. Well, there is evidence because you've seen a person who, who uh, who's, uh, has not had any corroborating evidence come forward. On the balance of probabilities, by the way, not a court of law and the legal standard required there, not a single piece of corroborating evidence... It's a job interview. <laughs> it, no, Ebony, you know better than I do... It's it not a court of law. A, it, it is not a court of law, but even on the balance of probabilities, not a single piece of corroborating evidence emerged. Uh, and and, and, and the, even if we're not talking about a court of law here, surely under, under, in any just society there is some sense of procedural appropriateness and, and a presumption of innocence that should be afforded here. Uh, there was a grave danger in this case that that presumption of innocence was going to be thrown out the window uh, because of the broader cross-currents of the Me Too movement. And if anybody has any doubt about the rightness of this You decision, cannot blame Me Too for this. Well, well, you can, because we have had uh, armies of activists um, marching around Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., yelling at any senator who has d decided to vote for the confirmation of Judge Kavanaugh. There is, there is a line being crossed here between being respectful to, vi to victims uh, and being respectful to people who are raising allegations like this... And, Where's the uh, respect and for victims...